Hello everybody, welcome to ZGC, my name is Aurelius and today we're hopping into Evolution 2 Battle for Utopia. Um, I recently realized uh, some things, if you tap this up here you can see a little story paragraph of your current mission as well as what you've accomplished in the past you know so moving forward um i think just because it takes so long to do like 15 battles you know um just cut down time on on uh these videos I'm just gonna be showing the boss fights i went ahead and caught the, the cyber dog fight will cost me about 2,000 gems to get them. So, uh, not too bad. Uh, I have not used them at all yet. So we'll see how it goes throughout all of this. Um, I will record every single battle, you know, and just show off some very interesting stuff and, or, or anything like that if that comes along. But, um, like I said, for the purposes of, of keeping these videos a lot shorter than what they've been in the past, you know, uh, we'll be mainly boss fights and we'll do, we'll see how that goes. Maybe do two story missions a day. So, I hope you all are enjoying your first of june welcome to june summer's right around the corner so excited for all of that you know but i will see you guys at the boss okay really quickly guys um see my scientific research is at 36 and things are starting to get really spread apart like well what was all of that you know, um, as you can see by the list, 38, 48, 58. So it's going to start taking some time to get new researches. And I'm pretty sure as we continue with the story, you know, there'll be some hidden uh, researches that we can obtain, such as like the G3 grenades. Um, Psy crystals still haven't come into play, but I figured I could take a chance to start leveling up you know uh some of my side powers you know um everything in green means you can upgrade it like you have the book necessary biofuel and and uh and uh What's the other word I'm looking for? Magnetite to complete it. The research, um, however, like over here with the nutcracker, how it's blue, I don't have enough magnetite to do that. So if you see this little blue plus sign, you cannot do it. Usually boss enemies give a lot more than, than a common enemy. And once you do upgrade, um, Get another challenge to to uh, kill more. So now that I upgraded the mechanic, I have to kill four more before I can cap them and upgrade side power by killing the mechanic. So I just want to show that off really, really quickly. Um, oh, so start working on the side powers and get them upgraded. They are a bit underwhelming, and main reason is is uh chosen of z are popping up a lot in my terrors you know and and uh only way to kill them is with side powers and i'm pretty sure there's more high art to looming about the map somewhere so yeah I definitely need the side power boost that way we can not try to whittle them down so close to death before we kill them with our side power. So I just want to 
like I said, just wanted to show that off, and I will see you guys in the next fight. Okay, this is um, one of the new terrors that are coming up. They're only one star right now, and I'm pretty sure they'll get harder as we go along. I just wanted to show this off. You know, um, they've been pretty easy, but you need a whole lot of leadership to do an execution on it. You know, um, like I said, so far all I've seen is one star. Uh, no need for grenades or anything. Show off the new sniper rifle I got, and maybe a vital pitch card here. Uh, Show off what it's using. already used them in a battle. Oh, um, oh. This was the missile. See all that? Oh my gosh. It's been an excellent addition, I must say. But yeah, nothing too fancy. Um, and you do get a good amount of biofuel for this that will go up as you rank up in PvP, which I just hit gold one. So I'm getting a two hundred percent bonus. So if you're not doing PvP, that would have been eighty biofuel. Ooh, fight a bot. Nice. See you after the ad. Oh well. Ooh, nice. So that was an interesting conversation into this. Um, apparently, Zorin um, teamed up with the Dominion, which is big monster creatures or big powerful machines that can or whose directive is to destroy all human life. You know, and that does include disease and people on Earth and wherever human life may exist in this universe. So, yeah, interesting there. Um, kind of cool that this guy's out here. Uh, do the most damage to him. You know, grenade always work acid or fire but there's like this little pack on his back it's hard to hit from when he's on the left side so let's get him over here on the right side aim at that and take off a major chunk of his damage hopefully those missiles kill him before he launches another grenade those grenades do a whole bunch of damage <laughs> in some of the PvP modes, uh, or some of the PvP fights I've been doing. Yeah, uh, his fire hurts a lot. If I storm that dude, and let's try to put his head off. I missed that? How did I miss that? Wow. But yeah, um, Zorin made a deal with the Dominion. Um, and that's part of what these Renegades are doing, they're helping, or they're fighting with the Dominion, and knowing the Dominion's, uh, AI and what they were set out to do, I don't think that alliance is going to last very long. But, uh, I'll continue battling here, and see you guys at the boss. I'm gonna go ahead and show this fight just because there's an enemy in here who also shows up in PvP a lot. Um, and and uh, he can glitch out, and uh, we'll see if we can't get him to glitch out here. I don't know if there's a way to purposely trigger it. I just know that it does happen. You know, um, it, you know, the first few times I fought this dude, or that, that glitch happened, 
I thought it was because of There's no escape. of uh, your partner dying it causes him to glitch out. But it, that doesn't seem to be the case. So, like when he jumps up in the air like that to launch that flamethrower, uh, or the damage. or the flames on the ground. Oh my gosh, that was a lot more damage than I was expecting. Oh uh, yeah, when he jumps up in the air, he, there's a chance that he'll get stuck in the air and not do any damage whatsoever from up there. So... What's the mess with that? And I totally missed the side powers. Are you serious? But yeah, so... Keep an eye on that when you're doing your PvP fight. Uh, just know that if you see him floating in the air, um, he's glitched out, he can't hurt you. Just stand in front of him, use your sniper rifle, blast him in the face. If not, incendiary grenades work really well against him. That was a really cool elevator ride down. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The sniper is keeping me moving and these grenades are not helping me at all. Dead, and let's blow your head off. That missed. Oh, I don't know why I am so crappy with this sniper on camera. <laughs> Holy snap! This is getting interesting. The deeper we go. Trigger side storm, nope, not enough damage. I really need to start leveling up my side powers. I'm not too worried about taking too much damage from you. Oh my god, not stop moving. See you at the next interesting thing. Level of interest. We got like a soldier fighter. Right there. I won't say this fight, but this map right here. We just caught another elevator down. You know, to get to this room. You know, and can we target her, please? Thank you. And, uh, yeah, there's a couple of soldier spiders in here, along with, uh, some regular Z spiders. Oh no, Fido went down! Um, I think acid grenades are most effective against that dude. Um, um oh, no, get out the fire. Get out the fire. Yeah, but, uh, incendiary grenades do a a ton of damage to him too so whatever your preference or whatever you have available against that guy see you at the next interesting scene uh, yeah it looks like brick is still alive um i think there's a couple more stages left before we hit the fall but, you know, this opening, uh, I didn't catch it all, just because, you know, I wasn't Get really expecting it, um, but, yeah, this zone was interesting, uh, so far, Major Morales gave the order to 
kill break for the pet child to dog. Um we should be protecting him somehow. You know, um and he's a mysterious character. He showed up first with uh battle against the story is you know, in that last episode. You know, um and he just contacted Blake and you know, asked, asked like to ask Storius a few questions like why Earth or why the world needs to be destroyed and whatnot. So uh more on him later. I will see you guys at the bar. Okay, this battle before the boss, I'm not gonna show this entire fight. Um, just wanted to say that, uh, Thorn sent the tank to this location. You know, to the inside of the base. You know, um, and the intent is to bring down the structure. You know, I'm assuming he's helping to kill Ooh. That was way You know, um, he's trying to kill Blake and Sergeant Blake with one health. With the tank, by bringing the building down on, on top of the Oh, ooh, another side Oh, I'll see you guys at the spot. Okay, here we go, boss fight. Yeah, that makes sense. That uh, Gordon wants to stop the Ares Project. So the Ares Project is how the Black Legion makes the uh, Sky Soldiers. Exploded. So yeah, um, tank is kind of tricky. Uh, there's not too many vulnerable spots. Like, you see that little blue spot open up? Go ahead and whip out your sniper rifle and try to hit that. You know, it's a very small window, just be wary because you just about to shoot a big old tank shell that does a whole bunch of damage, as you saw right there. So go ahead and pop a grenade, try to clear out some of these mobs in the process. Ooh, I totally did not see that. I'm about to get hit with that tank shell. Ooh, I dodged it. Somehow. Somehow. Uh, let's hit it with another acid grenade. I have not had one of these things go off on me, and I don't want it to happen for this fight. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh, it's just self destructive. Is that supposed to happen? I have no idea. Do this thing way back over there. No, um. I went ahead and got that uh, Z sniper rifle as you guys can see too. And I'm just loving this thing. It delivers a big old Z blast. You know, with um with a kill and damages uh nearby enemies. I do believe with this mission complete we do get Bricks as a partner. So we'll go ahead and show off um, what he can do. So come over to the hangar. New partner. I'm not going to replace Fido with him, but Scorched Earth ability. Oh wow, he does fire damage. So he'd be a good person to bring along against the Z. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and level up Fido. And uh, we'll 
see you about the next story mission. I'll see you guys then. Well, as it stands, the video is at about 20 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and cut it off here. Um, future videos, you know, expect them to be about this time instead of the 40, 45 minute videos I've been posting. Um, uh, yeah, and I know I said June 1st, and you guys aren't going to see this until Monday. It's just because my weekends are so tired. I was trying to get this out as a bonus to y'all um, out on Saturday. You know, um, it just didn't happen. I mean, I had a pretty busy weekend. Uh, I had a DOO video ready to go, too. You know, and it was getting some stuff set up for last day on earth but again just my weekends are so busy i really don't have much time uh for recording and everything especially with my fiance not understanding you know what it takes <laughs> all the time and effort it takes to to put into a game and be good at it and and uh, actually completed, you know. Um, yeah, so the weekends are really reserved for her. This is kind of the reason why I don't make videos on the weekend. I try, I really do, but at the same time, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. But no worries, there's still going to be another Battle of Evolution video going up today, as well as a DOO video, and... If I have time, we'll do a last day on Earth video. You know, um, so I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. If not, go ahead and hit that, uh, or if so, <laughs> and you want to stay up to date on, on a content going up on the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button along with that notification bell. You know, and down there in the description will be ways to follow me on Discord and Facebook. And I'm planning on going live on Twitch on Wednesday. You know, so search the really is Z R R at Z I R I L L I U S and you should be able to find me. Um you know, I'll see about setting up some links and everything and putting those down in the description as well. You know, but uh what we're gonna do, I don't know. We'll see. But hope you guys are having an awesome day and I will see you later.